Do you wonder which are the best and worst nootropic brands on the market? Well, I've tested every serious nootropic supplement, so let's find out. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar and I'm the founder of Your Inception. If biohacking, nootropics and optimizing brain performance interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. So in this video, we'll rank nootropic brands using the famous tier marker system. Now I've been researching nootropics since 2016, so yes, I'm very familiar with all the brands I'll talk about. Now I've followed them for many years, so I know their histories and some of their dark secrets, which I will reveal in this video. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Oh, by the way, which is your favorite nootropic brand? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so the first brand I wanna review is AZ. Now this is a brand that markets itself as the world's first brain health supplement company, even though they came relatively late to the market, so definitely not the first brain health supplement company. Now their initial Azot 1.0 was quite decent and their 2.0 version was even better. Now I still remember it because it was a very potent stack that I quite liked. But I've just checked them out again and honestly their 3.0 version doesn't look as good as it was. And I wonder why have they removed some of their most potent nootropics that were in the old version. Sure, their price decreased a bit as well, but that's not the way to go in my opinion. Now they have developed a few other supplements, but nothing that would really stand out in my opinion. Now they also use very aggressive marketing. Their overall branding is very in your face with lots of questionable claims, but their products contain some quality nootropics and they're dosed very well. So this is not my favorite brand, but it isn't the worst either. So I'd say it's a meh. Okay, so the next brand we're gonna review is Gorilla Mind. Now Gorilla Mind is not a typical nootropic brand, but they have developed a couple of popular nootropic stacks. That's why it's on my list. Now their nootropics are quite decent and contain some very potent compounds. They're not the expensive brand, but also not the cheapest brand on the market. They're somewhere in between. Now the company uses some stimulants in their products and in many ways they cannot compare themselves to my favorite nootropic brands, but they seem to know their market well. So they're giving them what they want. Now some of my followers seem to like the brand quite a lot. Not sure exactly why, but that's fine. Now I think that's a meh again, nothing more than that. Okay, the next brand, Thesis. Um, Thesis is one of the first personalized nootropic brands on the market that has failed under their first brand, but are doing a much better work now. I've tried their initial formulas a couple of years ago, but they didn't really impress me. However, I thought they are onto something, so when they rebranded, I decided to give them another try. Now, to be honest, they managed to develop some very amazing formulas, which are very clean, very advanced, and contain some of the most potent branded nootropics. The personalization part happens through a survey, um, which you have to go through first, which is not the best survey and wouldn't be enough for real personalization, but they go into the right direction in my opinion. On the other hand, not all of their formulas are great and they don't really personalize each stack for you. They just help you choose the right combination from their pre-made stacks. So the personalization part is questionable. I honestly love some of their formulas and I do recommend them to some of my fans. And I think that some of you guys may uh, find this brand really, really great. No doubt about that. Still, I'd want a bit more from them, especially when it comes to their formulas. So I'll put the brand into the I'll tolerate it category. Yeah, Thesis, keep on doing a great job, but don't forget you can still improve. The next brand is Schiff Vitamins. And that's a massive supplement brand that makes a couple of overpriced nootropic supplements. Their most popular product, Nereva, contains only two compounds, caffeine, wow, and phosphatidylserine. And guess what? Phosphatidylserine is underdosed. Wow, guys, great job. Oh, and they will sell you this product for about $33, but they probably make it for about two to $3. Not such a bad business after all. Maybe I should start developing supplements. Well, I think this is all a joke. If you compare the brand or product to my favorite supplements that contain 10 plus or even 28 nootropics, then you know why I think this brand is not serious, especially not at such a price. So just finish the product and recycle it. Okay, the next brand we're gonna cover is Performance Lab. Now this is a popular nootropic supplement brand that makes a whole line of nootropic stacks. The owners of Performance Lab are also the same of MindLab Pro, which we'll cover later on. Now they decided to make another brand for people who love to combine various nootropic supplements for peak performance. Now their products are very minimalistic and contain only a few top quality compounds, but they're very transparent, the tropics are well dosed and they provide relatively good value. 
Now, I love some of their stacks, such as Mind, Multivitamins, and their Sleep Formula. I don't think their brand has the best marketing, nor it looks the most user-friendly with their pharmaceutical look, but hey, that's how it is. Now, I've been using their products for quite some time, and yes, I definitely recommend them. They're especially great for long-term use because their formulas are very safe. So yes, I will tolerate the brand. Okay, let's continue with Neurohacker Collective. Now, if you ever researched nootropics, I'm sure you heard of Qualia Mind, one of my favorite nootropic stacks from the Neurohacker company. Now, this is one of my favorite brands on the market because they're developing premium nootropic supplements that are extremely effective, very advanced, but still safe for long-term use. They're not the cheapest, and you may get a bit confused which is the right supplement for you, but once you try them, I'm sure you fall in love with them. Now, they started their journey with a product that was quite complex, um, but they have listened to their customers and soon after launched the whole Qualia line. Now, Qualia Mind and Qualia Focus are two products that I most often recommend to my followers because they're so effective products that most people adore. They contain the most effective and potent nootropics on the market, which is why the products are on the expensive side. But hey, if you care about brain performance, that's the brand to go for, trust me. So yes, if I were you, I'd order Neurohacker products right away. By the way, there's a discount code below if you want to save some hard-earned money. Okay, let's continue with Advanced Nutraceuticals, also known under the brand name Lumultra. Now, I've been their affiliate partner for some time until they kicked me out because I mentioned that some of their products contain Nupip, which is first, illegal for sales in most European countries, second, under-researched, and third, not an atropic I'd use long-term due to the lack of research. Now, while I still hate them for not wanting to work with me anymore, I anyway don't want to work with many companies that contain risky nootropics and proprietary blends, like Lemotra. Now, I'm not saying that their products are total crap, but since they use proprietary blends and under-researched compounds, oh, and they hate if someone tells the truth about them, I just don't trust them anymore. So I've just run away because there are better brands on the market. Okay, let's continue with Natural Stacks. Now, that's an interesting brand. They have some very interesting nootropic stacks, especially their MacTech and serotonin brain food, but they're also the makers of NeuroFuel, which is definitely not my favorite nootropic due to the lack of quality compounds. Now, compared to Lumultra, Natural Stacks is way more transparent and does not contain risky compounds, so that's great. Actually, they started their brand claiming they're one of the first, if not the first, 100% transparent nootropic supplement brands, which I thought was very cool. Now, on the other hand, some of their formulas lack some potent compounds, so they're not the very best. I can tolerate some of their products, but others are just a meh. Hmm, what should we do? Um, let's say I'll tolerate the brand for now because of their transparency and using 100% natural compounds and because of their quality supplements, but they can or should still improve. By the way, guys, are you searching for the best nootropics for your individual needs? If yes, go for a free brand assessment, link below, and get a personalized recommendation for the best nootropics. Okay, let's continue with Nootopia. Nootopia makes the strongest nootropics on the market, no doubt about that. I've tested all their stacks and I can tell you that some of their combos are so amazing, I was blown away. But their products contain risky compounds, are probably illegal for sales in EU, they don't expose the dosages of ingredients, and because of that, the long-term safety is questionable. Their products are very far away from 100% natural because they use quite a few synthetic compounds, which I don't think is the safest. Actually, one of their stacks caused me a severe headache, which is very surprising and very scary. But some of the stacks are really, really strong. I'm not joking. As I said in my full review, Utopia is great for occasional use, but not for daily use. They have a few red alerts, but I know their team and their logic, so I'm a bit more forgiving here. I know I probably shouldn't be, but hey, it's my challenge, so yeah. So I'll tolerate the brand with the hope they become more transparent in the future. Oh, and they need to do something about their prices because they're just too expensive, especially compared to Qualia Mind. Now, if they improve, I'll probably suggest you order the products right away. But if they don't, they will drop one level down. That's for sure. Okay, let's continue with Optimind. Now, what should I say about a shady brand with one big proprietary blend and a couple of vitamins? Well, nothing good. I never liked Optimind since I always believed their product is shit and I still believe that's the case. Now, when the product was launched, there weren't many competitors on the market, so Optimind got quite popular very quickly. But today, the market is quite saturated and I don't think there's a space for such brands anymore. So just run away. 
what should we say about the genius brand? Now I have a love-hate relationship with this brand. I sent them a couple of emails for a potential collab in the past, but I never heard from them. They never replied to any of my emails ever. So I don't know, maybe they don't speak English or they don't understand it's nice to reply to friendly emails. Anyway, they have some decent nootropic supplements that are quite affordable, so that's great. Some of their stacks contain way too uh, many stimulants and lack other potent nootropics. Also, the dosages are somewhat off, so that's not something I would brag about. But overall, yeah, for the price, you get quite okay products. Not products that I would personally take, but they're maybe good for some people, especially those with lower budgets. So it's a mag for me. And next time, reply to my emails, you motherfuckers. Let's continue with Madmonk. Now this is the favorite brand of many e-gamers. I've known them for quite some time and in many ways they're quite a unique brand. They target e-gamers primarily, which means their branding and products are designed for the gamers. Their web store looks beautiful, their packaging is one of the best, and the overall effects of the products are quite good. Sure, compared to my favorite stacks, Madmonk lacks a few ingredients and it relies a lot on caffeine, which I don't like that much, but it's also very, very affordable, so their value is quite good. Now they have developed those amazing blueberry pills that slowly dissolve in your mouth instead of you know taking normal capsules, which I think is very cool. So if you're an e-gamer, just go for it. But for the rest, I'd put Madmong into the I will tolerate it category. By the way guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's continue with Newcube. Newcube is, hmm, what should I say? Not my favorite brand, but it isn't as bad as you may think. So they are a typical affiliate marketing kind of a brand that runs all kind of different promotions all the time. And they're very sales oriented. So if you go to their store, you always get a special discount, which is not special at all. Now their main product is okay, much better than it used to be, but not quite as good as some other favorite stacks. Their branding is cool, but yeah, it's all about sales with them. Now, if you carefully analyze the formula of Newcube, you'll see it's a copycat of a few other products that you may know but that's just how it is. I would say it's a meh. Okay, let's continue with Mindly Pro, the brand and the product under the same name. Now, Mindly Pro has been one of my favorite brands for years, and there's a good reason why. It contains amazing nootropics, it has a very effective formula, it is safe for long-term use, and it has a very fair price for what it delivers. Now, I've been using this product since 2016, and I believe when I compare it to 100 plus other stacks that I've tried, Mindly Pro always came among top three best stacks. They just managed to combine some of the most researched and potent nootropics with some crucial vitamins, and that's it, the formula works. Sure, the formula hasn't changed much in the past years, and their branding could be improved a bit, but I still believe this is one of the best brain supplements for long-term use. So just go for it. By the way, there's a link below if you're interested. Okay, last but not least, on it. Now, I left on it for the end because I wasn't really sure what should I tell about them. Now, when I first tried Alpha Brain, their most popular nootropic stack, I loved it, even though it had a proprietary blend. Now, the truth is that when Alpha Brain came on market, proprietary blends, which are legal in the US but not in the EU, were kind of a normal, but that's not the case anymore today. So that's why I have a bit of a problem with Alpha Brain. I like it because of the effects, but I shouldn't promote it because I don't know the exact amount of ingredients in it. So what should I do? Now, they also developed some other stacks in the past, like Alpha Brain Black Label, but most of their products are too expensive for what they deliver, and they just lack some of the most potent nootropics from their competitors. I mean, for such a big company, I'm sure they have resources to develop better and more affordable stacks. But no, I think profit is more important for them, so there is that. Because of all of that, it's a meh for me. Nothing more than that. Now those were the best nootropic brands, but if you want to check the best nootropic supplements of this year, then watch my video up here. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.